Hey guys, Richard from Digital Foundry here with an outlook on performance from the new 6th generation Skylake processor from Intel, the Core i5-6600K. We're releasing two benchmark videos today. This one places the new i5 into context with the existing range of Intel quads going back to the Sandy Bridge 2500K and also including AMD's FX8350. The other video out today compares the 6600K with a 4.5GHz overclock and compares that in turn with the last two generations of Core i7 where you'll see some fascinating results. In most gaming scenarios, and especially repeatable benchmarking runs, frame rate is limited by the graphics card, which makes getting accurate CPU metrics rather difficult. Our solution? Well, we're sticking to our existing test methodology, but we're attempting to remove the GPU as the bottleneck by pairing each processor with a reference Titan X, overclocked by 200MHz to the core and 400MHz to the RAM. As you can see here, that seems to do the trick, and we can determine that the Core i5-6600K, even without touching its overclocking capabilities, is significantly faster than the Devil's Canyon 4690K, depending on the game. In fact, as you'll see in the companion video, it's comparable with the i7-4790K in a great many games. The biggest increase comes in The Witcher 3, which sees a substantial 17% increase over the Devil's Canyon 4690K. That benchmark sequence you saw earlier actually makes all four cores hit 100% load, even on the new i5. Other titles like Shadow of Mordor and Assassin's Creed Unity barely show any increase at all. Our theory here is that Mordor's benchmark simply doesn't stress CPU at all, and we have a sneaking suspicion that AC Unity is still GPU limited. One thing we should point out is that by doing our best to make these games CPU limited, you inevitably encounter a lot of stutter. You get much more fluid gameplay when you're GPU limited, or if you introduce a frame rate limit to your gameplay. Hitting CPU limits is a much bigger cause of stutter than graphics hardware or driver issues, and by effectively forcing these games to be CPU limited, the stutter can be unbearable in some titles. So don't think of these tests as any kind of recommended gameplay setup as such. It's just one means of benchmarking game engine performance by doing our best to take graphics hardware limitations out of the mix. Keep on watching for more CPU benchmarks and be sure to check out our companion video where the i5-6600K in both stock and overclock scenarios battles it out with the last two generations of i7s with some surprising results. We'll do our best to bring you similar coverage of the new Skylake i7 as soon as we can but in the meantime press that thumbs up button if you liked what you saw and subscribe to Digital Foundry for the latest PC and console tech analysis. Thanks for watching. If all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before I'll tear? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? He sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin.
Ambush! Clear the bridge! Come on, you bastards! 